Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and I do a lot of military life videos and vlogs. Well, today is the first video of my military ball series. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified when I up the, upload the next video. So with this first video, we're gonna be talking about the do's and don'ts in regards to picking out that military ball dress. Now, my husband is in the Marine Corps, so I'm going to be referring a lot to the Marine Corps ball, but this goes across the board regardless of what service your significant other is in. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it and talk about the do's and don'ts. For me personally, I take literally all the way up to the Marine Corps ball um, to find that perfect dress. I'm so indecisive. Uh, I will go and visit so many stores looking at what they have, what selections they have. I will be scrolling through um, the Wise page looking for the ones that people are posting for sale. So I'm usually that person that has two dresses to choose from on that particular day um, because I'm so indecisive. But with that being said, if you guys are already starting your journey, I want you guys to um, always consider these following tips. When you're picking that perfect dress, always consider your skin tone and the service member's um, uniform that they're going to be wearing for that particular event. You don't want a color that's going to clash. You don't want something that's like bright pink or neon yellow, neon green, because you will stand out like a sore thumb. Don't do this, guys. Ooh. All right, so I always like to think about my dress in regards to less is more. When you are choosing your dress, be very mindful as to what um, areas you're showing off, what goods you're showing off, because you will be around individuals that your husband works with. You're gonna be around your, your husband's higher ups or your significant other higher up. So be just very mindful. Um, you don't want a ta-ta, you know, slipping out. You don't want to pull them, you know, Janet Jackson. So just be very, very mindful. Um, you know, I'm that individual that likes to say, you know, you wear what you want to wear that you feel comfortable in, but at the same time, um, don't show all your goods. Um, yeah, take it as you want it, but, um, just be mindful how much skin you're showing. So a lot of people like to think of a military ball, Marine Corps ball, as a second prom or a quinceanera in regards to picking out their dress. Do not pick out a quinceanera dress, please. If you are Hispanic, you know what I'm talking about, the tiara, um, the big old ball gown with the petticoat underneath. Mm, probably not the best for this particular occasion. Um, so if you never had your quinceanera and you're trying to use this um, time to supplement that, um, leave that tiara at home, okay? Promise you, you won't regret it. You'll be okay. Um, and when you look back on those pictures, you're gonna be happy that tiara stayed in your, your closet, okay? Leave the tiara at home. All right, so personally, me, as you can see, I never get my nails done. I was actually putting um, those little things on my nails earlier today. I uh, didn't even finish, sorry, so excuse that mess. But um, I will go and get my nails done or at least paint them in like a new colors, a color that's going to complement my dress um, for the ball. Like I said, I'm not one to get my nails done, so I'm not gonna give you too much criticism on this or guidance, but just be mindful and tasteful. Um, try to stay away from like those bright colors um, I know I've seen some wives put up those um, Marine Corps nails. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna post a picture right here. Um, so yeah, some wives might put these Marine Corps nails. Eh, you know, I think I considered that <laughs> for my first um, ball that I attended, uh, but I didn't do it. But yeah, you know, do what you want, but at the same time, make sure it's complimenting your skin tone, complimenting your service member's uniform, and then your dress. All right, so let's say you have that perfect dress, you followed, you know, making sure it wasn't showing too much skin, but still cute and sexy. Um, and now you're off to pick out your shoes. The shoes is what's going to complete your dress, it's gonna complete your look, and um, you found some amazing heels, right? 
or you might have went for this. Yeah. Um, leave those heels at home. If those are heels that you will wear to the club, um, you know, those cleared heels that um, you see some girls dancing on stages wearing. They're super cute. They make you feel sexy. Um, let's not do that. Um, that can actually make or break your dress. So just be very mindful. Make sure you find a dress that's going to complement it. You can still find those sexy heels. I am a heels girl. Um, I have a lot of heels in my closet and I'm all for wearing those heels to make you feel sexy. But just be mindful of the way it looks and the way it uh, presents your dress. So maybe just stay away from those stripper heels. All right, so let's move on to your dress um, style. So there, like we talked about, you know, making sure we're not showing too much skin, but still being sexy and cute. Um, there are going to be many dresses that you're going to find. They're going to have slits. I actually am one that loves slits in the dresses. Um, so I'm not going to say do not find it, do not get a dress that has a slit. But just be mindful on how high that slit goes. You do not want a gust of wind coming up and your slit opening up and showing your kuka. <laughs> so if you are going to wear a slit, maybe just make sure you have some kind of undergarments that's going to prevent you from showing your kuka to everyone. Um, but better yet, make sure your slit is an appropriate um, height or length. Length? Yeah. All right, let's talk makeup real quick. Now, I am not a makeup guru, obviously. Like, this is like plain Jane makeup here. Um, but usually, I do get my makeup done for the Marine Corps Ball because one, I want it to last all day. Two, I want it to look good in pictures and video. And then three, I just want to feel beautiful and kind of pamper myself the day of the Marine Corps Ball. Um, so, when you are going out to get your makeup done or you're doing it yourself because you're a makeup guru, um, just be very mindful that less is always more. Um, make sure it complements your dress. Everything's going to revolve around that dress, to be honest. Um, so I have seen amazing pictures of girls with, you know, all their makeup done and I just die for it. Um, so there is really no guidance in regards to makeup. You know, do what you want to do, however it complements your skin tone, it complements your dress, it makes you feel sexy, you get that done. Um, I always like to do a test run before the Marine Corps Ball. I like to try out different looks on me. And then I always like to um, make sure my makeup style complements my hairstyle and they go really well together. So that's just my recommendation. Maybe thinking about doing a um, test run in regards to your makeup if you're doing it yourself. Um, if not, just look at a lot of different looks and try to pair it with your dress and your hair. All right, so my last tip of all, when you're going to a military ball, always try to leave that attitude at home. Um, I know I am spicy sometimes <laughs> with my husband, especially if I'm in a rush. But when the time comes to it and we're headed out the door and we're going to the Marine Corps ball, I try to do be on my best behavior and be polite to individuals. My husband's going to be introducing. Try to find you know, a wife or two that um, I have something in common with so I can talk to throughout the night. Um, and just try to really enjoy myself. I have really enjoyed all the past balls that we've attended and um, I really do like seeing my husband, you know, feel proud of the service that he is um, providing within the Marine Corps and just seeing that camaraderie uh, between him and his fellow Marines. So yeah. All right, guys, so this is the first video of the Military Ball 2021 series. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when I upload my next video. I'll be taking you guys along on my whole journey, finding the dress, getting my hair done, finding my shoes, and my husband's side of his uniform. So if you want to see that and get some tips along the way, make sure you follow us on my channel and check me out on my Instagram page. Until then, I will see you um, later and love you. Bye.